Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to have a look at climbing and diving and this is climbing and diving in relation to climbing up the side of a chimney and diving back down it, climbing up the side of a building, diving back down it, climbing up the side of a tree, slightly different, diving back down it. The idea is to just to talk about the dynamics of climbing and diving and how your quad is going to react to very very steep climbs and very very steep dives and what you can do to help you with that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to fly the quad over there over to us and just have a quick look at the dynamics of climbing and diving. So if I just hover this up to about there, lock it in place. Right, shut the noise off. Let's get this nicely aligned so we can see what's going on. Okay, so you can see here on this quad the camera is from a graphical point of view set up 45 degrees so <clears throat> if we're flying with a camera angle of 45 degrees and we just want to climb up the side of a building for instance we want to stay really close to the side of that building so we fly up to the to the building at the bottom and then we want to fly up the side of it looking up the building until we hit the top we're going to hit a problem and the problem we're going to hit is that if I tip this quad up so that the camera is pointing straight up so you can see we're now in a situation where if this is our building here and we're flying up the side of it then what's going to happen and you can see it very clearly illustrated here is that almost half of our thrust is going to be pushing us away from the building as we power to go up the side of it. So we're going to be looking straight up the building, so we've flown into the bottom here, we're looking straight up the building and we're going to fly up the side of it. Half our thrust is going to push us away from the building and the other half of our thrust is going to push us up the building. But the reality is that by the time we reach the top we're going to be quite a long way away from the building. So I can illustrate that if we just drop back in here release the quad and we go to right, let me just set the camera angle correctly for doing this yeah there we go so 45 degrees so if I try to go to the bottom of this and then I look up it and fly up you can see I'm just flying away from it look how far away I've got because half of my thrust is pushing me away from the building as I try and look up it thrust pushes me away from it. Makes perfect sense. So what can exacerbate that? Well if we go back to line of sight mode and they just take us off here and lock us here. Now if we had a lower camera angle, so let's say we only had a 30 degree camera angle, then for me to look up the building I would have to be kind of at this sort of angle. So you can see my camera in here is normally at 45, the graphics show at 45. But if it was at 30 degrees, so it's pushing, pointing more, to, more towards the front of the quad, then I've actually got to angle the quad up even more to look up the side of the building, which means that even more of my thrust is now pushing me away from the building. So let's take a look at that. Let's just go back to line of sight mode and release the quad. Let's bring my camera angle down to 30 degrees. So we've got our building we're going to fly up the side of. So we'll go over to it and then we'll try and get some speed up. And put, you can see I'm just flying back away from it straight away. As soon as I try and look up this thing try and fly up it, I just start flying away from it straight away. I can't. The only way I can fly up this is by looking at it, and I can't see where I'm going. So I'm having to keep looking at it all the time in order to see where I'm going. So this is a very common issue you'll see in watching other people fly, is that when they fly up the side of something, they've actually got to look at the thing like this, can't see where they're going, but actually you've got to look at the thing to, to, to just fly up the side of it straight and not fly away from it. And that's all caused by 
a low camera angle. So let's have a look at what happens if we go for a much higher camera angle. So let's just bring the, the quad over here a moment so that we can lock it in place again. Let's lock it in place. Right, so if my camera was at 60 degrees, so let's say it was pointing up at, you know, at this sort of angle, I've only got to tip the quad up a little bit and the camera would now be looking straight up. Probably less than that, so somewhere around there, at a 60 degree camera angle, my camera would be looking straight up the side of the building. So in this orientation you can see that the majority of my thrust now is going to be powering me up the side of the building and a very small amount of my thrust is going to be pushing me away from the building. So let's go back to line of sight mode, sticks on, so let's go all the way to a 60 degree angle. And now let's fly up the side of this building. See, actually I can fly towards the building now while still looking up it. So, this angle here I'm actually fairly stable, but I can look straight up the building to see where I'm going. I'm not flying away from it, but I'm flying towards it here, but still looking up the building. So clearly a high camera angle gives me the ability to fly straight up the side of something and actually be able to see where I'm going. And we can illustrate this by switching maps. So if I now switch over to the city scene and uh, I'll try and remember which one of these tracks is going to work quite well for us. Let's just try downtown. Ready to race. Just trying to remember which one of these tracks is the right one, so bear with me a sec. What I'm looking for. Yeah, here we go. So here we've got we actually dive down this, but here we've got something that we can fly up where there's actually gates that we need to stay inside of. And you can see that I can look up this and fly straight up this and still see out the top of it with a nice high camera angle. And I can see out the top and I'm not actually flying away from the building so I can see where I'm going. So conversely, let's now change that to a low camera angle. Let's um, come all the way down to 30 degrees here try and fly up this and look at it. Oh, I've already flown out of it. Let's try again. So I'm going to try and look up where I'm going and I've flown out of those gates again. So you can very clearly see now that the low camera angle here is, is really not helping me fly up the side of this. In fact if I want to fly up the side of this and stay inside those gates I've got to not look where I'm going. Like that. Which is okay if you know there's nothing up there that you're going to hit, but if you're flying a real quad I would argue you really want to be able to see where you're going. If we go all the way back up to 60 degrees, yeah, like so, see I can fly straight up that and see where I'm going, no problem, no problem at all, not coming away from it, look straight up it and fly straight up it with no change in the attitude of my quad, it's really allowing me to come straight up here. I'm actually struggling not to hit the building, so I'm actually flying towards the building more than I am away from it. So camera angle, very, very important if you're going to be flying up the sides of things. So let's now switch to the industrial scene. Industrial wasteland tower drop, here we go. So there was Ready a question specifically about how to fly up the tower here in, in Tower Drop, this tower, and hit the gate at the top. So I'm going to do it a couple of ways. So this is normally the kind of place we're going to come from for this. Put my 
sticks on. Let's go down to 30 degrees. Come in here. And I'm struggling to aim up on that. Because I'm starting to, as I angle up, particularly if I come in close to the building first and then try and fly up, I just fly away from it, as you can see. If I get too close to this, I come through this gate here and then get close and then angle up, I just fly away from it and I can't hit that gate. If you're running a low camera angle, the way to hit that is actually not to fly towards the chimney towards the bottom but just to fly up and just fly through it like this and then turn to go down and make it through to the next gate. So with a low camera angle you've got to kind of fly flat towards it. So climb flat, fly flat towards it, straight through, then down and off and through this part. So that's with low camera angle. Let's now look at doing it at say a 45 degree camera angle. So this is going to be a little bit easier. You should now be able to get reasonably close to this tower and still Ooh, nearly, almost. I've got to start from a little bit further back, but I can actually fly up through that now without moving away from the tower on the way up. Now let's try it at 60 degrees. Let's go up to 60 degree camera angle. Now I should be able to fly right towards the bottom of that tower and literally just fly straight up, which I can. And I haven't flown away from it, and I've got the position to come straight back down through as well, under power, fly back down and crash into a tower. But um, you can see with the 60 degree angle, I've got that facility to be able to just look straight up and then you can see I've flown straight up through it and then it's just a drop back down to come through into those next run of gates. Okay, so that's a bit of a chat about climbing and diving, buildings, gates, towers and why quads do what they do. And I hope it's been useful.